guys welcome back today in this video i am going to tell you a few rules of nouns rules of nouns are very important to understand for the proper usage and to prevent ourselves from doing some mistakes actually this video is very important from the competition exam point of view so without any delay let's get started the very first rule is uncountable nouns are used in singular forms only like you should be true to your words actually the sentence is wrong because i have used words here instead of words i must use word to make the sentence correct because i am using uncountable nouns second one is indefinite article is not used before them means indefinite articles is not used before uncountable nouns like if i say he gave me an information actually the sentence is wrong and is an indefinite article so we cannot use them before uncountable nouns so to correct the sentence i must use he gave me a piece of information third one is they are not used with plural verbs means we cannot use uncountable nouns with plural verbs and much or some are used in place of many for denoting plurality like he was punished for committing many mischiefs at place of many we should use much so the correct sentence will be he was punished for committing much mischiefs let me revise it once uncountable nouns are used in singular forms only indefinite article is not used before them they are not used with plural verbs much or some are used in place of many for denoting plurality coming to the next rule that is rule number 2 there are some of the collective nouns which are used with plural verbs like kettle gentry people majority folk etc the nouns like committee jury house family crowd audience public etc are used with the singular verbs when they are used as a body or group but not as individual members when these nouns denote members or individual individuals the verb is used in plural form let us try to understand this with an example cattle are grazing in the field no actually we should use cattle we should omit this s the committee is unanimous on this issue here committee is used as group of people so the sentence is completely correct that the committee is unanimous on the issue third rule is words like offspring deer fish she are expressed as singular or plural only by the use of verb both in singular and plural they have the same form like if i say sheep are economically useful the sentence is completely correct and if i say a sheep is grazing in the field this sentence is also correct you can see that sheep here i am using as a plural verb plural word like i am using are with it and a sheep is denoting a singular quantity or singular entity so i am using is so we can say that both in singular and plural they have the same form and the use of verb will decide the number rule number 4 says some of the nouns 
ending in s or es are used with the singular verb now because we know that we consider words ending with s or es as a plural so we should use a plural verb with them but some of the nouns are used with a singular verb let us try to see a few words like this when we discuss about branches of learning like mathematics politics physics etc we use singular verb with them like if i say mathematics is my favorite subject now statistics is a word statistics as subject is used with a singular verb but statistics when taken as a collection of data it is used with a plural verb we can also apply the rule with diseases like diseases can be like measles we are using singular verb in the following sentence like measles is a very dangerous disease we can also apply the same rule on games and sports like gymnastics athletics etc some of the books like title of books are also applicable here like gulliver's travels and arabian nights they can be many more examples like this rule number 5 says nouns expressing numbers are used in singular with the numerical adjectives like i gave him 200 rupees if i use hundreds sentence will become wrong similarly i gave him five dozen pencils not i gave him five dozens pencil so such nouns expressing number are used in singular with numerical adjectives examples can be 200 2000 to score 2 million etc so this is it for today in the coming session i will discuss a few more rules of nouns only till then keep learning keep watching